Hello everyone, Grandma here. Today I'm making a very old recipe from the Depression era and it's macaroni and cheese. It's a very simple and easy recipe. This is how my mother used to make macaroni and cheese. In the middle of the Great Depression, my mom quit school and she started working. She was a cook and a housekeeper and that's when she started to collect recipes and she learned how to cook. So this is how she learned to make macaroni and cheese. What's nice about this recipe, it's based on a cream sauce, so it's very creamy. And it doesn't require very much cheese and we're only using one eight ounce block of cheese. When the cheese combines with the cream sauce, you would think it's a lot more cheese. The ingredients I'm using are four cups of milk, three fourths cups of flour, a half a cup of butter, and I'm using eight ounces of cheese and a pound of dry pasta. Today I'm using these large elbows. I'm using a medium saucepan over medium heat and I'm melting a stick of butter and we have to melt it slowly. Now that the butter is melted I'm going to add my flour to the butter and then we want to mix it well so it doesn't get lumpy. want it to be nice and smooth. See? This is nice and smooth now. And this is what thickens the cream sauce. This is called a roux. So now I'm going to take it off the heat and slowly add some milk in and keep stirring it. And now that I have it blended, well, I'm going to put it back on the heat. See, it's nice and smooth. No lumps. And now I'm going to proceed to put the rest of the milk in. Now we have to keep stirring this until the mixture thickens and almost starts to boil. It takes 10 to 15 minutes and I stir it constantly because you don't want any burning. This is what it looks like when it's nice and thick. You can see how nice it thickened. I lowered the heat and now I'm going to add the grated cheese. I just grated the block of cheese. So I'm adding it in. Now I have to stir it in and I'm going to stir it till the cheese melts. You could add whatever cheese you like. I'm using a sharp cheddar cheese for this recipe because my mom always used cheddar cheese. The sauce is done now. I'm going to put it aside and now I'm cooking my pasta. The water is boiling and now I'm going to add the pasta. And I'm going to cook it till the noodles are almost tender. You don't want to fully cook it because you'll be baking this in the oven. I'm going to cook it till it's al dente. I drain the noodles and now I'm adding my cheese sauce. I'm going to stir it as I go. Now I'm stirring it in well. Stirring it up really well. Now you can see how creamy it is. You can also add some salt if you like. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I put the noodle mixture into my casserole dish. You could top this with additional grated cheese or some breadcrumbs. I'm going to sprinkle this with some breadcrumbs. I'm using seasoned breadcrumbs, so this will give it a little extra flavor and a little crunch. And my father was Italian, so he liked a little Parmesan cheese on his uh, macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to sprinkle a little on here. 
It looks good and it's ready to be put in the oven. This is how it looks after it's been baked for 25 minutes. My macaroni and cheese is all done now. Notice how it's nicely browned on top. I'm going to let it rest for a few minutes before Grandpa tastes it. How does it taste, Grandpa? Let you know in a minute, Ma. This is really good, Ma. This is what mac and cheese should taste like. Nice and creamy. Nice cheese flavor. It reminds me of my childhood because we never had mac and cheese from a box. The topping has a nice little crust to it. And of course it's all natural. What kind of cheese do you taste? Cheddar. There's another cheese in here. It might be Parmesan. I don't know. You got it right, Grandpa. There's a little bit of Parmesan cheese sprinkled on the top. It's very, very good, Ma. You did a good job. 